Right, so a quick update on the community team that we've been creating. If you're not familiar with what I'm chatting about here, sorry, I've got to scooch down, otherwise my head won't be in the camera. If you're not familiar with what we're doing here, at the start of the year, we were talking about uh, creating a community Subutio team that has its own badge, its own colours, its own name, you know, a bit of an identity. We can get a, um, some of the uh, a figures team made up, maybe even some shirts done. And just sort of, it's a bit of fun really creating our own thing that's not just all inspired by, you know, my ideas with Gas Bugio. It's got influences from other people in it as well that are within the Gas Bugio community. So, here's a rundown of what we've done so far. We had a selection, a random selection of 96 words from which we picked a name. The name ended up being, after a couple of polls, being a Dogwood Flick Cooperative FC. So that's the team name, DFC. From then, we went on and started thinking about colours that we would use in a kit. Um, and we had a bit of fun on the Facebook group. Everyone's putting in different types of kits that they made on these sort of online self kit creator things um i think there was a bunch of kits we picked out we picked the three most popular uh and then that went to a vote now i did let that run for a while largely because i was busy throughout the summer but also i wanted everyone to get involved in it uh but it seems to have sort of stagnated a bit that vote so we may as well just cut it off with what we've got now so i think the next point is let's have a look at the kit color decision that everyone's had a hand in uh, and we can move on to the next stage so this is my view of the gas Beautio facebook group um, and here is in full transparency here is the votes that we've had as you can see there was a clear runner there clear winner uh 58 percent of the vote went for a home kit of white and green stripes with red accents and i did say that um although there's three there that we could choose from um if we had a second runner um we could use that for the away kit so the away kit is going to be red white and blue stripes now a few little caveats here about how that's going to look uh when i write stripes just to be very clear i'm talking about vertical stripes on the kit as opposed to uh horizontal stripes which would be hoops so this is going to be white and green vertical stripes with red accents for the home kit and red, white, and blue vertical stripes for the away kit. Also, when we're looking at stripes, to my mind, if you have skinny or slim stripes on there, from a distance, they tend to blend into one colour, so that's not so great. So what we're talking about here, when we're on about the stripes, vertical stripes, are quite broad stripes, so either three of probably five stripes on there to make up uh, make up the, the colour scheme that we got. So that is going to be confirmed. I'm going to now delete this poll from the Gas Beautio group. That was done on 25th of April, so we've had a good amount of time for people to vote on that. And this is what we've got. Home kit, white and green stripes with red accents, and away kit being red, white and blue stripes. Now, just in case anyone's worried that we're going to start pumping out kits and changing them every year. Uh, that's not the case for uh, Dogwood Flick Cooperative. We've picked that kit and the kit is going to be the kit forever. We're not going to have different kits every year or anything like that. We're just going to stick with it because we want to promote it as a sort of community team that everyone can use. And uh, we're not going to be able to do that if we keep chopping and changing things. So those are the ones that we're going to stick with. Now, in regards to the kit design, because we've got the colours, I think to avoid it running on too far, what I'll do is I'll just um, effectively use them colours and create the kit. I think that's going to be easier. And then what I might do is, I don't know, we'll see how it goes, but I'll, I'll do that. And I think as a community, what we need to concentrate now on is the badge for the team. Now, I thought about this as well, and I thought, there's two ways we can go we can either get people to design badges um in fact three ways we can go get people to design badges and then we all vote on them that's one way uh we could stick them in ai and see what comes out with that and then you know select a few and pick what we want out of that 
or we could all contribute an idea to the badge. It's perhaps the most cooperative way of doing it, and that is in our name, so maybe we should go that way. But really, to do that, we all need to be chatting in one place. So what I'm going to say is, if you want to be involved in creating the badge for Dogwood Flip Cooperative, uh, then get yourself over to the Facebook page, the Gas Beauty Facebook page, and start chatting about it in the comments. Feel free to start a new um, conversation line or whatever they're called, a thread on there, and we can have a chat about it. If we don't get any sort of progress on it, what I'll probably do is, uh, I think it was the second option, run a few of the words into an AI generator and then you know pick a few that look half decent and then we can sort of select them on another poll there. But the, the thing about this is that it's only really going to work if if you lot get involved as well so you know i do want to hear your ideas on there uh and then once we've got the badge once i've designed the kit around the color schemes that we use we've got the name we're sort of already there then so what we can start doing then is either getting a shirt made up which i'm genuinely thinking about doing um or getting a spew team painted up um and then, you know, we could take it from there. I think it'd be best if we got a shirt made up first, because then we could use that as like a sort of template for creating the Sabutio team actual figures. Um, so yeah, that's where we're at with creating the community team. Get involved. Um, and I'll look at all your suggestions as they come in and we'll take it from there. But that's just a quick update on that. And uh, hopefully, sometimes towards the end of the year, we might have this all in place. It'd be quite interesting to get them on the pitch. And what I, I sort of hope in it, the way it goes, is that it's not just me that will get one. You know, once we've got it all sorted and we've got a sort of base template of everything, then, you know, everyone that's watching this that's got involved can also um, get a team painted up and we can have it, you know, spreading like wildfire through the community. People going, Dogwood Flick Cooperative? What's all that about? And I might set up a few little fun things as well, like its own sort of website and, <laughs> you know, get some sort of fake photos on there of matches or a fake fixture list or something like that. So, you know, there's a lot of fun that we can have with that. Uh, so just get involved and, uh, yeah, until next time, love the Dogwood. <laughs>